partial cabinet reshuffle has taken place. Following the ruling party's devastating defeat in last week's municipal elections, yesterday the transportation, agriculture, and environment chiefs all tendered their resignations, which were summarily approved. This is in addition to the resignation of the Central Election Commission head a week ago over election irregularities. So four ministerial level posts are now vacant. But to many people, the government hasn't done enough. The opposition KMT wants nothing short of a full cabinet reshuffle with the education economics ministers replaced. Even within the ruling party, there are similar calls. DPP legislator Xu Zhijie thinks the entire cabinet should resign to show the government's determination to institute comprehensive reforms. Originally, the DPP controlled 13 counties and cities, but after the 2018 municipal elections, the number sharply decreased to six. The resignation of the Central Election Commission chairman was approved the day after the election. And yesterday it was confirmed that the Minister of Transportation and Communications, Wu Hongmo, the Minister of Environment Protection Administration, Li Yingyuan, and the Minister of the Council of Agriculture, Lin Songxian, would resign as well. Even though four ministers have stepped down, the Pan Blue camp thought this was not enough and demanded a full cabinet reshuffle. I am telling the DPP government that you lost. If you lose, you must make a change. It should be the Minister of Economic Affairs. The referendum signified that everyone wants to completely overthrow the Tsai Ing-wen administration's energy policies. Even DPP lawmaker Xu Zhijie, who had previously called for officials and party members to be replaced, similarly thought the scale of the reshuffle was too small. Even though the resignations of three ministers have been approved, I still recommend that the entire cabinet resign. This would let the people of Taiwan feel that we have the determination to undertake comprehensive reforms. Even though four ministers have stepped down, Politicians in both the Pan Blue and Pan Green camps suspect the number is too small. It remains to be seen if the Tsai administration will respond to this pressure and instigate more personnel changes.